Hey guys, my name is Andrew Perlout with Renaissance Humans and today I'm going to talk about my experience and show you before and after photos and talk about how my body composition has changed on a fasting mimicking diet. Now that is a little different than what I've talked about multiple times in the past, which is just plain old water fasting where you just drink water, you don't eat anything and you rest. Um, and that is something that I have been doing for many years. Uh, beginning in around maybe 2003 or 2004, I've read Herbert Shelton's book on fasting. He actually wrote several and I read them all. And I got really interested in the idea because I had these digestive problems that soon, a little, little further down the road, would get diagnosed uh, as the autoimmune intestinal disease colitis, which has pretty much destroyed my life for a while. I didn't do a fast right off the bat. I fixed my issues mostly through diet. And that was quite a bit of effort. And it took me like two months to really bring my symptoms under control. Had I, know, had I known then what I know now, I would have just done a water fast. And probably within a week, maybe two max, I would have had my symptoms under control. And I know this because I've experimented with eating the foods that bring my colitis back on and getting rid of them again with fasting. And it seems to work really well. So, uh, the thing is though, that in my role, helping people with autoimmune diseases, colitis, Crohn's, IBS, uh, primarily various inflammatory conditions, I usually suggest as like almost off the bat, you'd probably be, uh, be a good candidate to undergo water fasting, preferably under medical supervision because there's always a little danger with water fasting. And their response is like, is there any other option? Is there, can I just not do that? Is, can I just eat different food? Yeah, you can. I've helped a lot of people make improvements in that way, uh, just, just with the diet and lifestyle stuff. But the results come so much quicker if you just do a water fast. But as I said, people aren't willing to do it. In fact, uh, a study that I looked at showed that uh, with a regular water fasting diet as a way of dealing with cancer. Now, these are desperate people. You would think that if they had cancer, they'd be really keen on, on trying fasting, giving it a good go. They're probably desperate. But there was like a 90% dropout rate with a traditional water fasting diet. So that's where Dr. Walter Longo comes in. He, his research I've been looking at for years, he has actually done more to promote fat, the science of fasting than almost anyone else in terms of the published literature that actually comes out. And uh, largely discouraged by the high dropout rates, he began looking at this fasting mimicking diet, which I'll be talking about a little bit more, uh, as a way of getting people who otherwise would not be willing to just eat nothing to at least try to eat this really small amount of food, uh, about 1,100 calories for the first day, 800 calories after that. Uh, of, uh, of a certain macronutrient ratio to promote autophagy and several other uh, effects which are uh, have been shown to reverse disease and generally improve longevity. And uh, it works. People stick on it and it most, perhaps all of the benefits of water fasting seem to be showing up. Now, I, I don't believe that we have enough science to say definitively that that's the case, but it does seem like like most of the good benefits of fasting are taking place. So exciting stuff. So I'll go into a little bit more detail. Let's talk about the obvious. What exactly was I eating for five days on this fasting mimicking diet? So Prolon comes in this large box with a nice little uh, metal snap cover. Every single day has its own box, obviously pretty package heavy, but it is what it is. It comes with a couple informational sheets and then each day is packaged in its own box. So every day's box provides slightly different foods, but you've got stuff like kale crackers, uh, you've got supplements like uh, algae-based oil, you've got some teas, you've got a bar made up of nuts and seeds, you've got uh, another bar, You've got uh, several more supplements. And the two main courses, you've got two soups every day. Some of the days also include olives. The soups every day, um, pretty much you just add water to them. They were pretty filling. I would say that uh, everything in these boxes tastes pretty good. Um, 
and uh, I don't really have any complaints about the taste. It's not normally the food that I would eat. I tend to eat more unprocessed stuff. That being said, I didn't have any major issues with it. I actually have a mild allergy to nightshades and tomatoes, but the soup didn't really bother me. Here's an example of the nut bar. It kind of reminds me of the kind of nut bars that I ate when I was a kid. It's been a long time, but it tastes pretty good. And yes, if you look at that package, there is honey in it. Um, so hopefully Prolon will uh, take that out. I'll kind of give another shout out to him later on in the video about that. So let's talk about what happened to my body composition. So if we look at one of Dr. Longo's published studies on fasting mimicking diet, uh, we can see that 100 people, half went on a fasting mimicking diet, the other ate as normal, and after three rounds of five days over the course of three months, participants were assessed after about a week after the end of the last fasting mimicking diet phase, and they had lost an average of a little more than five pounds. Most of the weight loss seemed to come from their abdominal area, and they lost about an inch off their waist. When it comes to lean body mass, including muscle, this chart makes it look like they gained muscle during the fast. They did not. They probably actually lost a little, but they lost mostly fat so that overall, their the percentage of their body drive from muscle increased. But how is that gonna play out with me? I'm an enthusiastic, hobbyist acrobat. I have more muscle and less fat than the average American. I'm already pretty healthy. So I hopped in a bod pod, which is a pressurized container that can measure your body fat and muscle mass. I did this a few hours before I started the diet and then again two days after I broke my fast. By the way, bod pod, DEXA, underwater measurements, all the commercially available body fat and muscle measuring systems are not incredibly accurate. The average for bod pod is accurate uh, within about 2% of reality, but in extreme cases, that's the average. The, the extremes are like 13% off. So before the fasting mimicking diet, the bod pod read me at 7.6% body fat and 92.4% lean mass. Personally, I think it's unlikely that I'm actually that lean. Two days after the fast ended, it says that I gained some fat and lost a significant chunk of muscle. Now, I have problems believing that, to be honest with you. I am probably more intimately connected with how much human I can pick up off the ground, how much I can throw through the air, um, and how much endurance I have to keep doing it hour after hour after hour than your average person. And after I'd broken my fast on the sixth day, I went out and did acro, and I was doing fine. I didn't feel like I'd lost any strength. I was really feeling great. I think it's far more likely that the bod pod is very sensitive to shifts in water weight, so as I had depleted my glycogen reserves and the water weight that goes with it, it read that as loss of muscle. That's just my thought. I wanted to show you not only before and after pictures, but also two days after, for a reason. I've shown you the before picture, the right after before I've eaten anything, and finally on the right, the after two days of recharging glycogen stores and getting a little more water in my muscle. And yes, I'm sorry, I realize that my farmer's tan qualifies as a crime against humanity. Here's the before and after the fast, and then the after the fast and the two days after. Now personally, I think that in virtually all these shots, uh, I look at my worst right after the fast because of how depleted I am from a muscular perspective. Years ago, I did a eight day water only fast and the bod pod told me that afterwards I had lost nine pounds of muscle. Two months later though, I got retested and I was up 11 pounds from that low. I am sure that I'm losing muscle in this fast and I've lost a little bit of muscle every time I've ever fasted, but I think it's probably more minimal than most people expect. But even if I'm wrong about this, I still consider fasting highly worthwhile. So many of the issues that I help people with are autoimmune and inflammatory conditions, things like colitis and Crohn's and psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis and uh, serious things like multiple sclerosis. And yeah, the right plant-based diet that's designed to help people avoid trigger foods uh, will help people, but it's when you fast them that the magic really starts to happen. For decades, we had no idea why it worked, but now we've observed what's going on. 
multiple sclerosis is probably among the worst autoimmune diseases. Basically, the body's immune system is eating away at the sheath that covers the nerve. So what does a fasting mimicking diet do for mice and humans with multiple sclerosis? The mice saw a large reduction in symptoms, and some of them, about 20%, actually became completely symptom-free. This was after multiple cycles of the FMD. The humans reported large improvements in quality of life, physical health, mental health, and importantly, compared to the water fasting diet, which a lot of people won't stick to, the compliance rate was uh, very high, I believe around 90%. After the fasting mimicking diet, the progenitor cells, which are kind of like stem cells, started to rebuild the coverings of the nerve cells and also uh, to repair the spinal cord, which is crazy. One of the interesting things that's been observed in multiple studies of fasting and fasting mimicking diets is that the body tears down the immune system and rebuilds it from scratch. And when that happens, it seems like the faulty immune cells the, uh, are gone and the new ones just work better. Chemotherapy normally tanks the immune system, but uh, when a fasting mimicking diet is used, the immune system just reboots really quickly after chemotherapy. We could spend a whole lot of time looking at studies examining fasting and fasting mimicking diets role in dealing with uh, autoimmune diseases, in dealing with heart disease, in dealing with cancer, in dealing with um, type 2 diabetes, uh, and in retarding the aging process and even reversing the aging process. But we don't really have time to do that, so let's just uh, get on with my review of Prolon. I'd say that one of my main complaints uh, is with water fasting, after two or three days, you're just not hungry anymore. You're not really bothered. Now, granted, your energy levels are lower, but uh, you, you're just not like craving food all the time. But because I was continuously eating over these five days, I pretty much continuously wanted to eat more. So I, I would actually say that that's probably one of the few negatives because your hunger is still present and kind of rearing, uh, rearing up every time you eat. Um, but uh, overall, it was a doable experience, and I did enjoy that uh, my energy levels were a little bit higher than they would be with a uh, normal. Uh, water only fast. One benefit that I did notice over uh, water fasting was that I slept really well. And this is something that I've noticed for years that whenever I am uh, doing a water fast, I still sleep, but I don't sleep as deeply. I often wake up during the night. And pro with Prolon, I actually slept like the dead, like probably better sleep than I normally have. Uh, so that was really cool. I, uh, I mentioned this to Dr. James Kelly of Prolon, and he said that he's basically heard both ways. One is that people will often get headaches and back aches, which I, I don't experience since I did my 26 day fast. Those, those issues just went away and they've never come back. Uh, but uh, for the people who do experience those, they may have trouble sleeping. But the opposite is also true. They hear from a lot of people who say they sleep well. Um, I do wonder about the high fat content of uh, the Prolon diet, uh, that it definitely helps with satiation, most likely. Uh, I do wonder about its um, uh, effect on sleep, because normally I don't eat that high fat of a diet. So here's a couple things that I want to bring up, uh, and maybe also as a note to Prolon. Uh, one, a lot of people who are into healthy eating or who are trying to fix their health are on plant-based diets, specifically vegan diets. Uh, so Prolon is awesome because there's no meat, dairy, or eggs involved with it, but there is a little honey. Now, personally, I am not hugely bothered by honey from a moral perspective, and uh, from a health perspective, there's actually some research on honey that shows that a small amount of it might actually be good. So I can understand why they would use it as a sweetener. Uh, however, um, any ardent vegan out there is not going to be interested in this. So it kind of depends. Is that your target market? Uh, you might, you might not want to, uh, you might want to get that honey out of there if you, um, care. I mentioned previously that I don't think I lost a lot of muscle, and if I did, I think that it didn't really impact my strength, so it's really hard to tell, but obviously I have a biased perception. So, uh... I would hope that uh, Dr. Longo is interested in figuring out what happens to relatively 
uh, low body fat, healthy people on a fasting mimicking diet. Because I think some form of fasting on a semi-regular basis, maybe once a year, twice a year, whatever, uh, is necessary for people to maintain good health and retard the aging process. So it's one thing for me to lose a couple pounds of muscle, but it's another for a 62-year-old woman who no longer has age on their side and will have a hard time recovering that muscle. Sarcopenia causes a lot of problems for older people, and you would never want to contribute to that. Traditionally, there have been considered three ways to preserve muscle during weight loss. One is to go into a fasted state, but the protective effects of a fasted state don't kick in until maybe like the third day or so. Second one is to eat more protein, but eating more protein will retard your ability to benefit from a fast. And the third is exercise, which again is kind of problematic in a fasted state, especially when uh, protein intake is so low. But this is a fourth option that may actually bypass those issues. That's branched-chained amino acids. Even when running a large calorie deficit and doing exercise, people were not only able to maintain their muscle mass, but actually gain a little bit of muscle mass compared to a carbohydrate supplementation group which lost muscle mass. If you had an experiment group with branched-chained amino acids plus uh, prolon, and then the other group just on prolon, you could compare the two groups and see what was the effect on muscle mass and to uh, whether or not the positive uh, autoimmune and autophagy-based effects of fasting uh, are still kicking in, which is really the critical factor. Just a humble suggestion from a guy who has conducted zero studies, but I am really curious and I know that there's a lot of healthy, fit people out there who potentially would be interested in Prolon and a fasting mimicking diet. Now, Prolon is about $300 for a box. That's a lot of money. So, uh, by the way, haven't mentioned yet, Prolon sent me uh, the box that I uh, used for this review for free. So they're kind of sponsoring this I would say that that's a decent amount of money for a lot of people, especially like, you know, insurance isn't covering it. Uh, so you'll have to make your own decision about whether or not you think that's a good idea. You could also look through Dr. Longo's published literature and look at the macronutrient ratio and just copy the calorie target and see if you can do it yourself. Dr. Longo has made it clear that he thinks that uh, Prolon offers some benefits that you're not going to be able to get just from whole foods and they do offer uh, some supplements that are targeted in certain ways and so you can make your own decision about that. I think that everyone, pretty much everyone who doesn't want to die early should be fasting. There are definitely considerations. Uh, people with health problems, people on medications, they can't just do a water fast and expect their, it to go totally smoothly. Uh, because there are health complications. You could fall into a coma and die. I just want to be really clear. Shit happens. Uh, but fasting is a an element of our evolutionary history that has been with us for thousands of years. It is, it is natural. And Prolon kind of makes this interesting because you can largely sidestep a lot of those theoretical downsides by eating some food. At least it has a fantastic health record. You don't need direct medical supervision. So um, it might be worth a shot. So if you want to learn more about Prolon and the idea of a fasting mimicking diet, uh, I recently actually, while I was fasting, read Dr. Longo's book, The Longevity Diet. It is partially about his suggestions for a Mediterranean or whole foods plant-based diet with, uh, he does allow for some fish. Um, and it's an interesting read, but the majority of the book actually is about his fasting advice and his experiments with fasting and fasting mimicking diets and the benefits that he's seen. Uh, you may find it a more approachable way to look through the science than actually reading the studies. I know a lot of people aren't really into that. Um, so you may want to consider that. Uh, if you do decide you want to try Prolon, uh, I was given a code and I'm pretty sure I don't earn any money with this, but just you can use it. <laughs> uh, so Perlot 10, P-E-R-L-O-T 10, will give you 10% off. It's an expensive product, but uh, if you're suffering, if you have autoimmune issues, digestive issues, uh, inflammatory issues, if you um, have a number of other health complaints, as you could learn about if you read the book, uh, this may be beneficial. You might want to give it a shot if you're unwilling to do a water fast or go away to get medically supervised to do a water fast. 
so I hope that helps some of you guys. I hope that people out there will actually try to fast. It has made such a huge difference in my life. It has improved my health so much, and I just highly suggest it. So give it a try. See you later.